Firms are constantly seeking new rewards that employees will find more valuable and thus more motivating than traditional cash rewards. But there's limited understanding of when and why these new rewards are so effective. My name is Adam Presley from the School of Accounting and Finance at the University of Waterloo. And together with my co-author, Willie Choi, from the Wisconsin School of Business, I am researching the motivational effects of non-cash tangible rewards, such as gift cards and merchandise. The purpose of our research is twofold. We examine the attributes of tangible rewards that are commonly differ from the attributes of cash rewards. We also investigate how such reward attribute differences lead to differences in how employees think about their rewards relative to their salary and how that eventually affects employee effort. We find there are four common attribute differences between cash and tangible rewards. First, unlike cash, tangible rewards are less fungible, meaning they cannot be easily used to obtain desired goods and services. Second, tangible rewards tend to be used to consume pleasurable wants, whereas cash rewards tend to be used to purchase common needs. Third, Tangible rewards tend to be viewed by employees as more novel and surprising, whereas cash rewards tend to be viewed by employees as more common and expected. And finally, fourth, by their very nature, tangible rewards are paid separately from salary, whereas cash rewards and salary tend to be paid in a lump sum. We also find that these differences, four attributes, let employees to think about tangible rewards as more distinct from their salary than cash rewards that greater reward distinctiveness led to greater employee effort. As such, we find that tangible rewards with these four attributes result in greater employee effort and performance than cash rewards. Our research goes beyond the current conversation of whether tangible rewards motivates greater effort than cash rewards by exploring when and why tangible rewards can motivate such effort. Thus, our findings reinforce a fundamental point about workplace rewards. Rewards are simply constellations of attributes, and firms can alter these attributes to increase the distinctiveness of the rewards from salary, which will improve their motivational effectiveness. Ultimately, we advise firms seeking to increase employee motivation by offering more valued rewards to use rewards that are less fungible, spent on pleasurable wants, are novel, and paid out separately from salary. Notably, these rewards attributes tend to be more easily attributed with tangible rewards than cash rewards.